Hello, this week's painting tutorial will concentrate on the big child creative's Papa Jambo bust. I've um, not really painted many figures like this before and it will complement the Papa Jambo figure I painted last year. So first up, I sprayed on a very watered down coat of camo green, very diluted so the pre-shade could show through. See the pre-shade is really quite intense to get as much contrast as possible. Um, then subsequent lightened and darkened coats were applied to accent the shadows and the light. A Brill tan wash was then added to uh, go into the recesses of the details. Um, two coats were added, one quite diluted and then one almost straight out of the bottle. The leather was painted with contrast snake bite leather and it came out really nicely. It hardly needed anything else afterwards. Um, it, it just produced a really nice effect when it went over the pre-shade. This was again used straight out of the bowl and very little was done to it afterwards. It was a really nice effect. The hat was painted Darushi Violet. Um, again, the wash was just applied straight on out the bottle. About two or three coats were applied just to get a really nice coverage. And this worked really well. Again, nothing was done subsequently. It was left pretty much as is. And I think this is the thing, if something looks good, there's no point in adding anything extra to it. The hair was given a wash of uh, null oil black and then grey highlights were added and subsequent washes were added to almost apply a filter to the hair. The lips were given a generous coating of a Reichland flesh shade just to bring out um, a subtle variation in the colour. And then once this was dried, just around the teeth and the recesses, a coat of gloss Reichland flesh shade was added just to simulate you know, how the mouth would look. The hat was given another coat of Darucci Violet just to bring out the details. This produced a really nice effect. Well, the feathers were then given a wash of Griffin Sepia and further highlights were added later on in the build. The eyes are given successively lighter coats of Avalanche Sunset with plenty of retard and medium mixed in with the paint so the colours could blend together. This is then given an overall wash of Reichland Flesh Shade to make them appear bloodshot. Next up the teeth were painted with Ushabti Bone. Had to be very careful to see here it's quite a fiddly process, not getting any paint on the lips or the face itself. And finally, while I had the Ushabdi bone, had some very subtle highlights were added to the leather. Hardly anything, just where there were some tears and scuffs in the, in the material. The feathers were given a very subtle uh, dry brushing with Ushabdi bone as well, just to bring out some of the subtle detail. And further washes were added to accent the shadows and so on and so forth. The teeth were then given a wash with Griffin sepia. This is done in several stages with the wash concentrated more towards the roots of the teeth to produce a kind of worn, dirty effect. Finally, the nose was given a very subtle wash with Carbara Crimson to simulate the red that was on the box art. This is done in stages and done very subtly to build up sort of layers of colour. With the wash on the teeth dried, another subtle coat of Ushabdi bone was added just to bring out some of the base colour. Then a highlight of white was added just on the tips of the teeth, just so they really showed up. I decided to paint the coins using Citadel Contrast Nasdreg Yellow followed by a Leandon Yellow over the top just uh, to see what could be achieved with these effects. Highlights were added using yellow and white after once these contrast paints had dried and I was quite pleased with how it came out. I tried doing some non-metallic metal painting on the uh, various rings through his nose and his ears and what have you. So this was done with successively lighter shades of grey and white and with that the model was pretty much finished. So here's the finished Papa Jambo bust. It was good fun to paint, not something I've really done before at this scale. I think um, the most crucial steps were the pre-shade and also airbrushing on the skin tones because you can get some really nice variation in the green between uh, light and dark areas. Uh, and I was quite pleased with how that came out and um, it complements my Papa Jambo figure that I painted last year quite well. 
Uh, I've got no idea what I'm going to do next, but um, once again, thanks for watching, and there will be another video posted up next Friday. Okay, bye-bye, take care.